All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekap Wadash. Double honor to the elders and our apostles of Great Millstone taught us the truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. And also the brothers that teach us word and sincerity. I'm the brother Iowa Lumbee from the GMS Chicago branch here in Chicago, coming back at you with another lesson. And Lowell and I hope it be edifying. You know, just to, you know, touch upon this Roe versus Wade situation. You know, everything that's going on, you know, around the world. You know, uh, this, uh, I'm just basically talking to this lesson, you know, the world versus Wade is going to cause, you know, a mass division. You know, because what, you have these uh, pro-lifers and you have the, uh, you know, uh, pro-abortions. Uh, you know, you know, they're clashing <clears throat> and different things like that. You know, it's going to cause a mass division, you know, in this, uh, in this nation. And uh, this is what you have about Shemiel Shai is bringing. And ultimately, this is uh, the plan of the global elites. You know, they're actually, this is what you have about Shemiel Shai is using the global elites to do. You know, basically, you know, put the uh, put the problem out there. They're not ultimately going to come in with the solution. You know, um, I just basically did a lesson. Talking about the collapse of the Ecuadorian, uh, Ecuadorian uh, uh, society, how, you know, gas prices and food prices are going up, how, you know, they're going against their government and different things like that. Ultimately, you know, this thing, you know, that's going on this Roe versus Wade is going to cause a mass division that Yahweh Shemel shots from the brain. So I'm going to play a little bit of this clip. He doesn't love me and appreciate my body as a woman. <laughs> joy that it was finally overturned, but the determination, a steely determination that the battle is not over. Abortion bans are illegitimate. Forced motherhood is illegitimate. You're hearing a lot of passion right there. Let's take a live look outside the Supreme Court in D.C. right now, where a huge crowd has formed, some celebrating the court's monumental decision today, overturning Roe v. Wade. Others pretty furious about it. The justices voted five to four in striking down Roe v. Wade, stripping away constitutional protection for abortions that have been in place for nearly 50 years. And this paves the way for states to impose outright bans on the procedure. Nearly half have in indicated they plan to do just that right now third and just to say also you know this is how you know we're at the end you know people protesting you know about killing their own children you know this is how you know you basically can say that this is the end the end of the end you know people was calling you know good evil and evil good and this is the type of society that we're you know we currently live in right now you know a mass protest about killing your own children you know, but that's another lesson for another day. But um, this is, you know, bringing, you know, mass division, you know, across the nation. Play a little bit more. States are preparing for trigger laws to take effect. Those are laws that were ready to roll once this decision came down. The timing really depends on a state by state basis. It could be right away by state official certification or after a 30 day waiting period. And these laws would supersede other laws that the state might have on the books. Right now, Georgia does not have a trigger law in place. And tonight, President Biden is calling. Right, and it's uh, basically sparking, you know, mass protests across the nation here in Babylon, you know? You know, you have, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the people for abortions, and you have the pro-lifers, you know, clashing and different things like that. But um, let's just jump into it. Bear with me for a second. This is the book of Isaiah 9, uh, 19 and 2, because you have to remember also, like I said at the beginning of the lesson, this is your how about Shemiah Oshai bringing this mass division. You know, with mass division, it only, you know, brings the collapse of America closer and closer. You know, it says, uh, Isaiah 19 and 2, it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Right, mass division is happening here in America. Not only with the Roe versus Wade, a Roe versus Wade is part of it, but also, you know, amongst Esau Edom, you know, they're fighting amongst each other. Isaiah 19 and 2, I'm going to read it again. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? The modern day Egyptians is these, uh, these Edomites, you know, it says, uh, and they shall fight one, everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. You're right. Uh, let me actually see, can I find a scripture? Uh. 
Lord willing, I can find it. How it talks about, you know, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Yep. Uh, bear with me for a second. Lord willing, I can find it. Let's see. Yep. This is the book of Matthew 12 and 25. It says, And Yahweh shall I knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Right? That's what we're seeing right now. You know? You know, you have uh, groups of people against another group of people. You have the... Uh, <laughs> You have the South against the North, you know, just for an example, you know, you have this whole kingdom of America is divided against itself, even going all the way to the top. And it says, um, it's, uh, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. It says that every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Right. We see in the collapse of this place right now, you know, a lot of people has different ideals, you know, one from another and different things like that. You know, this, uh, this, uh, country as a whole is completely divided. And Roe versus Wade is a uh, is a big example of that, you know. People, you know, uh, for abor uh, abortions and people, you know, going against abortions, you know, and that's uh, that's just something small compared to the bigger uh, the bigger schemes, you know. It says uh, verse twenty six, and if Satan uh, if and if Satan shall uh, so like it, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall this uh, how shall then his kingdom stand? Right. You know, starting with the top of Esau Edom, you know, this country as a whole is divided, you know. But ultimately, this is the plan of Yahweh Bashim al The Lord is bringing mass division, you know, uh, in this place, America, Babylon the Great, you know. And he he's using Esau Edom to do it. The Lord is putting Esau Edom against each other, you know. The ones for abortions, you know, uh, the ones against abortions, you know, different things like that. Uh, this is the book of Luke 12 and, uh, 51. It says, suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth, right? How about Shemel Shai, you know, did not come to bring peace on earth. The Lord is bringing pure hell and destruction to this place. It says, I tell you nay, but rather division, right? How about Shemel Shai is, you know, dividing this place. The Lord is putting division, you know, uh, missing, uh, amongst the people. Uh, verse 52, it says from, uh, for, from henceforth. There shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. Right. Talking about division. The Lord is basically dividing, you know, the people. Do what? You know, a lot of these people now has, you know, their different ideals and different things like that. And that's what's, you know, dividing these people, you know. And like I said, the Lord, how about Shema al is using Esau Edom to do it. You know, these elites, you know, basically, you know, uh, you know, basically banned abortions and things like that. It's going to cause these people to, uh to write and different things like that, you know? Verse 53, it says, the father shall be divided against the son and the uh, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Right. And right, this is what the uh, the Lord is bringing, mass division. You know, I played that, uh, that Roe versus Wade clip, you know, just to show you a clear example of division. The, uh, the country as a whole, not only here in America, but, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, people is uh, going against one another through the way of ideals and different things like that. And that's the Lord bringing that division. You know, you've had amongst Esau Edom, you know, the Lord is um, the Lord is uh, putting them against each other. You know, as the scripture says, not the new under the sun, you know. Uh, this is the book of uh, Second Ezra 15 and 16. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. What is this like your presidents, your mayors? <clears throat> you know, your, your type, you know, your uh, top class officials, your government officials. And it says, um, in the course of their actions shall stand at their power. Right. It's going to be sedition amongst these people and evading one another. Because what? The difference of ideals and different things like that. You know? They should not regard their kings nor princes, and of course with their actions shall stand in their power. Right. 
going to show you what that the country as a whole is divided uh divided you know people uh people uh you know don't accept what the government says and you know in the government you know uh you know going against what the people how the people feel just to show you what mass division you know even uh in the top of Esau Edom you know like I said before even Esau Edom is fighting uh, amongst themselves you know just to basically show you, you know that signs uh uh you know the Lord is bringing division you know to this place America and Roe versus Wade is another example of that so with that being said, I hope it was edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakap Wadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, taught us the truth. And salutations that are hopefully like that's around the four corners of the globe. Until next time, uh, Wa'a Baba Ba.